What's up, Fast Cat Nation? Today, I am going to describe a new way of training that's fun, flexible, and most importantly, highly effective. We are going to cover our new custom training plan builder, using our training plans as a template. That's right, you need flexibility. What happens when you can't follow the plan when life happens? Using your rod and wearable data and exporting your workouts to your bike computer and or Zwift. And we are still going to be dissing on the erg mode because it's not good for your training. So we'll get into that. We'll also talk about measuring your improvement and finally, year-round periodization because you know from our April 19th podcast, consistency is the new FTFP. And we're talking about consistency year-round, one, two, three, four, five-year multiples. Welcome, Fast Cat listeners. Thank you for tuning in. I'm recording a solo episode this week while a lot of the Fast Cat coaches are off to the Unbound Gravel Race. We have coaches Elliot and Justin participating. And speaking of Unbound, did you catch Coach Elliot's breakdown of Fast Cat athlete Lauren De Crescenzo's Unbound training preparation? Go check it out on fastcatcoaching.com forward slash training tips. What stood out to me the most is the training load she achieved before Coach Elliot had her begin her taper. Loyal listeners will recognize we have recorded a previous master's training load. Uh, now you can understand what a pro gravel training load looks like. And it's big, uh, like Tour de France level big. So go check that out. What also stood out to me, the second nugget of information is the amount of interval training she did during her long rides. Very similar to our gravel workout podcast we recorded May 3rd. The You Are Not Riding Hard Enough Gravel Simulation Podcast. Well, Lauren and Elliot certainly are riding hard enough and they're pushing the envelope in their training because you don't just win unbound with average training. You need to be advanced and elite and push the envelope as far as your body will let you. And so please join us in wishing Lauren well, and all the Fast Cat athletes, good luck to Marissa Boaz and Ethan Overson, plus all the Fast Cat athletes and subscribers, and then, as I mentioned, our very own Coach Elliot and, and Justin. Um, and very special episode next week. Look for it earlier in the week than we normally publish our podcasts on Friday. It is going to be a special play-by-play -play between Coach Elliot and Lauren, an intimate conversation of the good, the bad, the ugly what happened, what worked, what did not. It may be raw, it may be emotional. We don't know what's gonna happen in the race, but we are going to record a podcast and deliver it to you early next week. Thereafter, look for a podcast on heat acclimat acclimatization. There's a lot of protocols out there. Coaches Ricky and Andrew are gonna talk about that, how to, how to beat the heat. And now, my fine friends and listeners, what do we mean by a different kind of training? You know, Apple, train, sorry, you know, Apple and Steve Jobs think different. And that's what we're saying is train different. We've always kind of had our, our own philosophy and methodology of training with sweet spot training and don't lift weights during the season. And the internet, uh, you know, seems to, how should I say it? Like to debate, you know, sweet spot versus polarized and how pyramidal is really the debate. And we always say pyramidal and then polarized. But but anyway, the point being is train different. And what we've put together uh, is a training solution that is different. And we believe it's fun, flexible, and as I said, highly effective. And so when you begin training with us, we ask you what you are training for. That's the most important. And then we say, when is that? And then we say, how much time do you have to train each week? That's absolutely fundamental to designing a flexible plan. It's unreasonable to sign up for eight to 12 hours when you really only have six hours to, to train each week. But then what you get back from the Fast Cat app and Coach Cat is a custom plan for the length of time that you are training for that uses our six week plans as phases of your training. It's tailored for the time you have to train and to your preferences. Now, for example, let's say you have eight weeks between now and your next goal event, say it's a Fondo. Now, if you talk with one of our expert fast cat coaches and go through a coaching consultation, we're gonna ask you those three questions, what you're training for, when it is, how much time do you have to train? 
And then what we're likely going to recommend is to do four weeks of sweet spot base, build up your training load, and then switch from base to race and then do four weeks of Fondo and road style intervals. And what Coach Cat and our custom training plan builder does is take your input and then deliver that custom training plan to you, just like what you'd get from one-on-one -on -one coaching after uh, a coaching consult. And then, very important, what we do is you sync your rod data, power, heart rate, GPS, to our AI-powered coach, Coach Cat. And Coach Cat gives you instant feedback the moment you finish a ride, just like I would as a coach. Uh, I trained Coach Cat on my 20 years of experience. I've analyzed about a million power files over those past 20 years, and we took that feedback, and we took the all the encouragement and motivation and, and things that I say, and we put that into to Coach Cat. Coach Cat is more or less a clone of me. Everyone knows I used to be a molecular biologist, but it's my persona. And so what you get back in Coach Cat's analysis is a very positive, encouraging, motivating coach. And so let me give you an example. Say you go out and you do a ride, normal zone two ride. Here's what Coach Cat says. Great job on completing your zone two rod with an X power of 202 watts, which is within your zone two. Rest up and prepare for tomorrow's recovery day. How does that sound? Now, listeners, my that was actually uh, my Coach Cat analysis from this past Sunday. And someone over on our Strava Club uh, kind of joked, is it like hearing yourself uh, when you get Coach Cat's instant analysis? And I was telling them, yes, it, it kind of is, uh, but it's still nice to get. And um, for for the record, if anyone wants to join our Strava club, head on over there. You can search Fast Cat Coaching on Strava and join our club. If you tag us five times, we'll send you a T-shirt. If you tag us 20 times at Fast Cat Coaching, we'll send you a Fast Cat Castelli jersey. But anyway, so, so my FTP is 290 watts, so 202 uh, for the whole ride, X power is smack dab 70% of my FTP. So Coach Cat uh, knows that he, he or she or they analyze that, and that's why they let me back. That's let me know that is within your zone two. So it says good job. Um, but everyone, that was my ride from last Sunday, and uh, you know today is May 30th. Uh, everyone knows that in the United States, Monday was Memorial Day. So what do you do? Um, you know, I had the day off. Uh, do do I FTFP on a day when I have the day off work? And honestly, the answer is no. So what you got to do is you tell Coach Cat what's going on. Coach Cat is not smart enough yet to put two and two together, like national holiday with my day off training plan. We'll get there. But for now, you have to tell Coach Cat about special holidays and, and situations. So so anyway, when I when Coach Cat says, how does that sound? I said, tomorrow's Memorial Day, and I have the day off work, and I'd like to ride. What do you suggest? And so Coach Cat types back instantly, by the way, with a day off tomorrow, it's a perfect opportunity to extend your ride today while keeping it in zone two. Coach Cat gave me another zone two ride. This will help build endurance without adding too much fatigue. Enjoy the extra time on the bike and soak in the scenery. Would you like for me to put a 1.5 hour zone two ride on your training calendar? And then I say, yes. And then I say, if I ride tomorrow and I don't take my rest day, should I move my rest day to tomorrow, Tuesday? To which Coach Cat replies, yes, let's move your rest day tomorrow. And so listeners, what I have just described is the flexible, flexible manner that you may use Coach Cat with our training plans for a custom solution designed around your life what's going on during it. And then that's the flexibility we talk about that's key to consistency. And, you know, consistency is the new FTAFP. It's king. We'll get into that, that momentarily. But it's it's super important for, for the flexibility. We, you know, the FTFP follow the mm -mm plan really is about developing good training habits and, and flexibility is very key to that. It's so great if you can commit and follow the plan, training plan exactly, but you know what the problem with following a training plan is? Is what happens when you can't follow the training plan, when you can't FTFP, and that, that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about bad training habits where you got lazy or you stayed up late or you know, whatever and you didn't train because we know and acknowledge that life happens and it helps to have someone support you uh, when you can't follow the plan. That's the name of the game. There's work, there's weather, there's kids, there's family, 
there's bike mechanicals. And then let's not forget fatigue. You know, what do you do when you're literally too tired and not recovered to do the prescribed workout? Do you do you grind through it and dig yourself a deeper hole? Or do you ask Coach Cat, hey, I'm not, I'm not feeling great today. And honestly, every morning with your wearable data, Coach Cat will say, hey, it looks like you aren't recovered. Would you like an easier workout? And then that's, you can say, I think so. I didn't sleep that well and I'm not feeling that great. And I don't feel like doing those threshold intervals today. Can you make them sweet spot or, or tempo intervals? And so this is where Coach Cat has got your back and it helps you manage all the things in your life going on, just like a real coach w would without paying real coach prices. And so subscribers that already are using Coach Cat knows that Coach Cat asks a lot of questions like, how are you feeling? How does that sound? sound? And that's the way we intentionally developed Coach Cat is because that's what we as coaches ask our athletes. We analyze their files and then we say, hey, how are you feeling? How did those intervals feel? How are you feeling about the training tomorrow? What's your week look like? Are you going to have any trouble following the plan? And so we as coaches always ask questions. And so Coach Cat always asks you questions. And then what you need to do is give Coach Cat information back, just like you would your coach. So you need to say, I am all good, coach. I don't see any roadblocks. I'm going to be able to follow the plan or vice versa. Like I have a long day at work on Thursday. I don't think I'll be able to work out. What should I do instead? Bam. Coach Cat has got your back with a training plan revision. Unlimited training plan revisions instantly. That's how we we're talking about train different. So when, when you are asked how you are feeling, and you're feeling tired, all you have to do is tell Coach Cat it's perfectly normal to be tired in training. Say also, say you have only 45 minutes to train. And say you woke up in the morning and your day is looking fine. You're going to do that prescribed three by 10, 90 minute ride in the afternoon. But say your day blows up, uh, you know, you got things at work and the boss asks you to stay late and, and then there's traffic like on the way home or, or something gets in the way. And now all of a sudden you only have 45 minutes to train. What do you do? You just tell Coach Cat, I only have 45 minutes to train today. What should I do? And you're going to get a recommendation back immediately so that you can get on with your training. That gives you the flexibility while keeping the consistency. And that's the name of the game, folks. And so when you combine that with our unlimited training plan library that you can use uh, all the plans as phases of your training for a year-round periodization solution, and then you have a custom plan builder within that, and then you have Coach Cat to help guide you along the way. That's what we mean by train different. And let me give you one more example. Say you have a group ride on Wednesday, and then you also ride with your friends on Saturday. So those two group rides, Wednesdays and Saturdays, kind of neg negates following a training plan, right? Well, not really. I mean, you still can train, and there's a couple ways to approach it. You can use like one of our sweet spot plans. You can use our group ride intervals plan. You can just overlay those group rides you have on top of the prescribed workouts for the day, or you can design your own training plan around those group rides because you know that you're going to take Monday and Fridays off. You're going to do your group ride Wednesday, your group ride Saturday. That probably means you're going to ride shorter, easier on Sunday. So you got you can use our workout library. And then that leaves Tuesday and Thursday. So what can you do? You can ask Coach Cat what should you do? Say, Coach Cat, I have a group ride on Wednesday. It's fairly hard. What should I do Tuesday and Thursday? Coach Cat may ask you some follow-up questions, and then it will present to you the workout plan for the week, and then ask you if you'd like to put those workouts on your training calendar. Pretty slick, huh? So you can design your training week by week based on the group rides you have going on. And, um, you know, that's kind of what, again, what we mean, train different. A lot of athletes that are seasoned, been at this a long time, they're not necessarily following a plan. They're just doing what's always worked for them. And then what we're doing or giving you with that workout library is the additional resources for those one to two days per week when you just don't want to ride around. You want like a real workout, you know, something to help you 
accentuate and augment the, those group rides in between. And so then what you can do is focus on consistency, use Coach Cat for, for guidance, and then use your data to let you know if you're improving. We're talking about auto FTP detection, tracking your X power, tracking your training load. Training load's big. You know, like you see where Lauren um, from Coach Elliott's uh, Unbound Training article, she achieved a very high training load, and that was the number one goal of their of their training and you can do that too while you're designing your own plan and doing your group rides you just focus on riding a little bit more each week and then using some simple rules for periodization like two weeks on one week off or three weeks on one week off recover and then get back at it you can do field tests along the way you can you know design your own training plan you can apply a training plan and use that as a template and move workouts around you know kind of how your uh your preferences are we have a new desktop, so you got a lot more real estate to look at four weeks at a time and scroll through it. You can look at June and July, and then you can move things around. You can even say, hey, Coach Cat, I'm doing Steamboat Gravel August 18th. I'm doing such and such race on July 4th. I have this group ride. That's a metric century. You know, put please put that on my training calendar. And so you can kind of use Coach Cat as your, your training scheduler. And so that is just another way we have you train different. And loyal listeners will recognize and recall our fatigue-dependent training plan design methodology. And that's where you do your hardest workout on a day following a rest day, and you do your subsequent workouts. They're easier and lower wattage. So you do your highest wattage workout on Tuesday, less high wattage workout on Wednesday, and then you're riding zone two by Thursday off Friday, and then you ride harder, longer on Saturday, shorter, easier on Sunday. Coach Cat will help you walk through that fatigue dependent training plan methodology because it's trained on that. And all of our training plans are geared towards that methodology. But, you know, getting back to this group ride on Wednesday, what do you do? Tuesday becomes this like limbo day where you don't want to ride too hard on Tuesday and then not have great legs to hang with your friends on Wednesday. So oftentimes Coach Cat will say, okay, you can ride zone two and you can say, well, I feel like doing a little bit more than that. And you can, <clears throat> excuse me, I can do like some anaerobic work, uh, like three by 30 seconds on. You can get those suggestions, keep it short, keep the intervals moderate, and then you'll still have good legs for Wednesday. And then it's likely that Coach Cat will give you sweet spot or tempo or even zone two work on Thursday. And honestly, like you wake up the next day after your ride on Wednesday, look at your wearable data. How'd you sleep? What's your HRV tracking like? What's your training load? Are you in the red? Are you in the green? Are you good to go? And that's the beauty of it. Coach Cat will say, hey, you're in the red today. Why don't you ride in zone two? Or conversely, say you recovered like a champ. You're in the green. Coach Cat will say, hey, you're ready to go. Would you like a more difficult workout? Give you like sweet spot or threshold or VO2 if you're really – you know, training aggressively. And so that is just another way we help you train different. And the thing that I like about the way that we handle your wearable data that other wearable companies don't, they don't take into account your training from the day before, your power data, your OTS. And so what they really, you know, Garmin's and the Whoops and and they'll just tell you you're not recovered and they'll leave you hanging. What do you do with that? Really, honestly. So you've not recovered well but what do you do with that information? You still want to train, especially if it's like one of your best training days of the week. If it's Monday, well, it's like, okay, you're not recovered, but you expected not to be recovered. Therefore, you know, honor your rest day. But what if it's like a, a Wednesday and you don't recover, you're in the, you're in the red from not sleeping well. Well, I mean, our, you know, no offense, but you should still train on Wednesday because that's like the middle of the week and you've taken your rest days. So we, that's where we help you uh, with because we take into account how much training have you done? How much recovery did you achieve? You blend that together to give you a recommendation. But we also take into account real world examples of like just, you know, you don't wake up on Saturday. That's your one day to train and then recommend a rest day. So anyway, that's we, we've trained coach cat on the, the training plan methodology. So, um, that's kind of the, another way of training differently. So what we've done, we've taken your wearable data and we've connected it to our AI coaching for daily on the fly adjustments per, per 
your fatigue state. And so every morning, as I alluded to, you wake up, you receive your analysis of your recovery from the evening before, and you see how that affects and impacts your training for the day. You know, do you proceed as planned? Do you make some small, subtle uh, adjustments? And a lot of fast cat athletes are really enjoying this. You can change uh, a very hard threshold workout to a sweet spot workout based on your recovery status. You can even upgrade your workout. Say you were scheduled to do sweet spot, but you're feeling wonderful and you recovered like a champ and your data supports that and encourages you to do that. You can all of a sudden go uh, threshold intervals from sweet spot. And so that is in an advanced level way of FTFPing. And that, my friends, is also why we encourage you not to use the ERG mode. So let me explain. So say you're feeling, say you have three by 10 sweet spot for the day and you are, you warm up and you're like, wow, I feel amazing today. What do you do? Do you go by erg mode and just stay in sweet spot and just, you know, do an average workout and it feels like super easy? Do you stay in the sweet spot? No, 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 no. You upgrade those sweet spot intervals to threshold intervals because you've recovered so well and you've got the legs to push harder. And so if you're in erg mode, you're just going to stay in sweet spot and because it puts you on a single wattage. But if you're not in erg mode, you self-select, you upgrade, you adjust uh, up or down based on how you're feeling. And, and that's how you make on-the-fly workouts. That's what we call training by feel, but it's also using your, your data and your sensations. Listen to your body. That's what Coach Cat will always recommend. That's what we recommend as his coaches. But the same thing goes for VO2 max intervals. You know, erg mode gives you a target number, but we always recommend you push yourself as hard as you can because you may be on a stellar day and, you know, you're not limited by a single predetermined number that doesn't really take into account how much you've improved, you know, since you set that number and how you may be, be feeling. And similarly, you can downgrade your intervals if you're just not feeling it. Um, you can't do that with erg mode. You're going to be forced into pedaling harder. And it kind of sucks, to be honest, because you can't like make that five to 10 watt adjustment to help you manage your fatigue and how you're feeling per the day. So, you know, if you're doing threshold intervals and it pins you at 285 watts, but that feels like way too hard. It feels like you're, you're just not going to be able to complete the workout. You know, you can self-select, not be using the erg mode, take it down 10, 15 watts, achieve the workout, successfully complete it. You stay consistent. That's FTFPing in our book. And then you, you move on. And so this type of online, sorry, on the fly adjustment, it, it's just not possible with erg mode. So that's why we recommend you not doing it. And so a great way of not using the erg mode is you just use your timer on the virtual training platform, or you can do it with your bike timer outside. And then when the interval begins, you pedal harder or easier using your real-time power readout or heart rate to know if you're in the zone. You use your knowledge of your zones. You can also pull up your, your training zones in the profile or just, you should know your zone. So, you know, cycling is a cerebral sport. You should know, like my sweet spot is 245 to 282. You know, rolls off the tongue. My FTP is this. Therefore, my zone five is that. Folks, you should you should know that. And therefore, whenever you look at your 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 real time power readout, not only are you feeling how hard it is, but then you see that number and then you're like, yep, I'm in zone five. I'm in zone six or I'm in I'm in tempo. But anyway, back to the non erg mode workout, you use that real time power readout to execute the workout and then you're using the timer and you're doing a 10 minute interval and when you get down to the 10 minutes you just you let your power drop back down to zone two and then you pedal in zone two for the recovery period and then you bring it back up to a sweet spot for example um using the real-time readout again simple as that you can also warm up longer or shorter and uh you can even ride harder afterwards yeah believe it or not say say you knock out a killer workout you got like 20 more minutes left um, and you just, you feel like uh, riding a little harder. Go for it. Cannot do that in erg mode. And so by using this manual methodology, it enables you not only to do 
your workouts by feel, which is going to be better for your training. You can do them on any platform. You can do them on Zwift. You can do them on Indie Velo. You can do them on Ruby, my whoosh. You can even do them outdoors. Although we do have an export to Garmin Wahoo and Hammerhead uh, feature. But honestly, <laughs> you know, adhering s- s- to a strict 20 minute warm up and getting to the right place at the right time, that's a little onerous and stressful. I, I do. To be me personally, I do all my workouts manually. Um, I use the export feature as a reference because you can always pull up the the workout. But then once I leave the door, I kind of go ad ad lib based on where I'm going to perform my intervals. But then I usually I like to start my intervals on a multiple. I warm up for 30 minutes and I begin my interval right at 30 minutes. And then if it's a 10 minute interval, you're done at 40 minutes and it's five minute recovery you're done with the recovery at 45 minutes, you begin the next interval at 45 minutes, so forth. Super, super simple. Um, but it allows that self-adjustment along the way, which is very important for training by feel. And that's just another way of training different. So, and then for VO2 intervals, I like to play a game of keeping my wattages above the lower end of zone five, And then I like to try to finish as strong as I started. So not only at the end of the first interval, but the end of the last interval. So if you averaged, let's say, 305 watts for the first VO2, I like to try to at least come close to, excuse me, averaging 305 watts for the, let's say, sixth VO2 max interval. Similarly, for the sweet spot intervals, you can play a game of not riding too hard. Um, You can... Keep your wattage below the upper end of sweet spot because like you may be feeling good. Now, remember, the key of sweet spot is doing a lot of it, not necessarily exceeding the amount of sweet spot. So you can upgrade yourself from doing three by 10 to four by 10. Um, You can't do that in erg mode. Um, Now, you can also upgrade that workout to do three by 10 threshold, kind of like what I was just talking about. Kind of depends on the, the situation. But again, it's just a couple of examples of why not to use these static workouts and enables you flexibility a little bit more fun and lets you ride by by feel uh, that you can't do in in erg mode and the other thing is you know a lot of you are training for gravel and fondo these very long endurance events and an hour on the trainer i don't know about y'all that's about my limit i get to about 50 55 minutes and i'm like okay five more minutes and i'm done but i can do that same workout outside I can extend the amount of time I warm up. I can extend the rod after I do my intervals. And next thing I know, I've ridden 75 minutes or 90 minutes. And you do that, uh, you know, for a few weeks at a time. And the, the amount of time, the amount of training you do more outside adds up to a significant difference than just getting off the bike after one hour because that's all you can take. Um, you know, riding inside. So I really encourage everyone to try to do as much of their training outdoors as possible. Now, that's for our Northern Hemisphere friends being in the summer. I know we have a lot of Southern Hemisphere listeners. It's winter or colder where you are. And that's a different situation because then you're in the off season where riding more isn't necessarily a goal of your training. But here in the Northern Hemisphere, when you're training for, say, an unbound gravel crusher in the tusher steamboat gravel any of the upcoming gravel races the more you train the more you will improve and so don't limit yourself by just exporting a workout to zwift and just riding an hour like look for ways you can ride 75 minutes or 90 minutes and the general rule of thumb is just add more zone two before and after the the intervals um now uh, An athlete was asking in our customer service channel earlier this week, can I ride harder and what does that look like? And so what I recommend is everyone ride in zone two to do a good warm up, nail your intervals with the best possible legs and oomph, and then afterwards, see how you're feeling. And then if you want to like ride a little bit harder, ride a bit a little longer as opposed to the zone two on the way home or, you know, to extend your workout, that's the recommendation. So zone two before, and then a little bit harder the way after. You may not feel like harder, but you can ride longer in in zone two. So that is just another way of how we train different. So moving on, you know, 
we've podcasted about this m- multiple times. There's more to improving than what you do on the bike. You know, that's a big portion of it, but there's also your nutrition. And then there's also your body work, your strength and conditioning, your yoga, your foundations. And so you combine nutrition with the, sh- the body work, and that's what we call winning in the kitchen. And as I just mentioned, we're big fans of yoga. We have you do it every Monday and, and Friday. And then the foundation work. I cannot tell you how many athletes I talk to and they talk about their bad back. And it's like Dr. Eric Goodman says, uh, do this every day, no back pain ever. So it's a 12 minute foundation routine. You can follow it along. It's very much like Simon says, just listen to what Dr. Eric Goodman says and demonstrates in the video. And you know, uh, it's 12 minutes. You can do that while you're making, waiting for your coffee to brew in the morning. You can do that, you know, while you're on a a conference call, uh, with no video at, at work. Um, it doesn't take much and it really helps your back. And so we also recommend, um, band work for hips and mobility, activation, glute activation. Uh, anyway, all of these workouts may be found on your training calendar on Mondays and Fridays, including foam rolling and recovery modalities. But the, the winning in the kitchen, that's a big one. You know, we aim to teach and that's, uh, you know, the other way of training differently. So, you know, even like two weeks ago, Coach Christian and I podcasted about nutrition during. But what if you want a meal plan? What if you want to uh, know what to eat? all three meals per day, including snacks. Well, that's our winning in the kitchen introductory meal plan. It's four weeks. We teach you how to prepare your food and eat by the winning in the kitchen um, philosophy. And really, honestly, it's no alcohol, no sugar. Uh, It is three meals a day, two snacks, mostly using fruit and almonds as snacks. Although there's a lot of variation to that. It really involves including carbohydrate, protein, and fat and greens and vegetables, those five macros with all meals, not just like your dinner, uh, but even even when you're, you know, making your, your breakfast, eggs and rice, uh, you know, include a little bit of broccoli, put that over a bed of, of lettuce. We're really big on fiber, uh, as you can tell, winning in the kitchen. But what, what the winning in the kitchen introductory meal plan really does, it helps you learn how to grocery shop because that's the first step. It w- helps you understand meal prep. And it helps you understand how to make these meals. And then what you do is you graduate from the introductory winning in the kitchen plan to the weight loss meal plan. And then that plan is more detailed where the recipes are scientifically calculated based on your activity level, your gender, and your body weight to undercut your caloric output by 250, 500 calories per day. And it's just like what we say, if you can follow a training plan, you can ride faster. If you eat this way, and follow these recipes, you will recover better, perform faster, and you will lose weight. And then additionally, what's new is say you're plant-based or say you're vegetarian, say you get a recipe and it's got meat in it. You can ask Chef Coach Cat for substitution recommendations. You can ask Chef Coach Cat for entirely new recipes. You can say, I am tired of the salmon Watts recipe, which is a staple in our winning in the kitchen meal plans. Also like the Chipotle burrito bowl. You can ask Coach Cat, Chef Coach Cat for different recommendations um, based on your your how how your your food preferences or what you feel like eating um, that day. So recipe variations, plant-based alternatives, what's a good recovery snack? These are all prime time areas of expertise to ask Chef Coach Cat. Moving on, uh, you know, loyal listeners you know, we stress consistency is king, especially from the April 19th podcast, uh, you know, where consistency is the new FTFP with Coach Isaiah. We talked about being consistent for two years, four years, six years. And so we have created a game. You've heard us say before, make it turn green. Make your training calendar turn green every day. We call that your consistency calendar. And you get a little green, uh, even for the days where you honor your rest day because you that was consistent. And then, so if you connect all seven days of the week, you turn the entire week green. And then, then you can do that every week and can turn the entire month green. Now that's killer consistency in our book. And if you do that for three months, six months, six years, you're going to truly unlock your best self. 
Eventually we'll gamify this consistency, but for now, uh, just try to make it turn green. It's really as simple as that. And that, my friends, is how we help you also train differently. So sure, you know, we can help you build a bigger base with sweet spot training, bigger than zone two alone. And, you know, like I was saying at the beginning of the podcast, you know, we don't have you lift weights during the prom bike riding season, but really the, we help you train differently with a solution that of all these things that we've pulled together that I've just described. So double lastly, you know, the other way that we help you train different is with our award-winning coaching support. And so I mentioned some athletes that have reached out in the, in the past week, you know, I personally uh, pull a customer service shift and so does all the coaches that you've heard here on the, the podcast. So it's not a, uh, you know, a bunch of randoms in a call center. It's us, you know, we're there. So you go to the upper right of the app, you ask your question and we'll get back to you uh, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain time. You can also ask Coach Cat the same question. You'll get a response instantly. But if you want, um, you know, to speak with an expert human fast cat coach, just hit, hit that chat box in the, in the upper right. We'll get back to you and give us about five to 10 minutes, you know, um, in, uh, like I said, Monday, Monday through Friday. So that is our podcast this week. That's how we have you train different. Good luck to everyone racing at the Unbound this coming weekend. And uh, if you would like to train different, go to fastcatcoaching.com. We have a new desktop, new website. Start your free trial now. Just click sign up in the upper right. Uh, No credit card is required. So you really have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. You know, check us out. Go through the custom training plan builder. Get that custom plan, use it as a template, use Coach Cat to guide you along the way, sync your data, get that instant analysis, see if you set a new FTP, and yeah, really just give it a whack on, on consistency. So we'll be back next week with Coach Elliot and Fast Cat athlete Lauren DeCrescenzo. But until then, you know what to do. Work hard, ride fast, have fun. And as always, remember, consistency is the new FTFP. Thanks for listening, everyone.